Hello, so I have just worked with the Conti, the three different values, the brown, white, uh, brown and the black, and letting the paper continue to show using cross hatching and hatching to describe uh, the direction of the subject that I'm working on, in this case it's a bell pepper. Uh, really trying to push that idea of form so that we can tell where uh, areas that are conve concave and convex, convex, so like pushing in and then coming out are in that pepper and trying to capture that with value. So now that I've worked with those three values, I want to start adding in some white. If I look at my still life, there are areas in that still life where you can see reflected light. So for example, in this area here where the pepper kind of comes to an end, reflected light in the interior, and then this whole back section here, partially on the outside too. And then there's some little high reflective marks maybe in here and then right in there. So I want to blend some of that white value into the value I've already uh, established and then uh, make some further little highlights. So I'm just going to work a little bit on that. I'm going to try to keep the camera as steady as I can, kind of working and blending in the white. Again, that's kind of the, the you want to work with the white a little bit, um, excuse me, later after you've established that value so that you can really use it to pop out the areas um, giving them more contrast, giving them the ability to just seem like they're really crisp. And so by letting the white kind of sit on the surface or only blending it a few times, you're going to be able to achieve that nice crisp edge rather than blending it in and letting it get muddy and mucky. Just gonna work for a second with the video on. Again, I'm keeping eye contact with the still life, really thinking about where I see those changes in um, light and shadow. Continuing to use a paired line, a cross hatching line but one that describes the form. I can make short strokes or broader areas that cover a bigger distance. That direction is probably the most important. I'm sorry, I keep moving the camera. So if you want something to look like it's curving, or that it has a lot of volume, just making sure that your lines follow the plane of that object. That's the most important part. You always just want to keep um, eye contact with the subject. I know you don't see me doing that, but the times that I'm pausing, um, I'm really not looking down almost ever at my hand. I'm usually looking right at that object and thinking about how and where those highlights and shadows, where they belong, continuously glancing up and down. That's so important for you not to just get lost in your drawing, but to keep looking at what, what you're drawing. All right, so now that I come into this section that's gonna have uh, more highlight, by leaving the gray paper without Conti blank where I want a really bright con uh, highlight, that le lets that Conti just sit right on top of that paper and so it's gonna be lighter and more white, like in this area, like I was saying, I wanted a brighter highlight so I actually had left that area without other value. That might seem slightly counterintuitive, but um, just thinking about that, keeping that 
paper kind of blank where you want a really light area. Okay, so now I want to just add a highlight or two. Mainly, if I look at my pepper, I also see that this area is more white. There's kind of a line here that can also use some further value. And then in here, even pushing that value just a little bit, almost exaggerating it so that this pepper looks shiny, maybe even a little bit more shiny than it does in, in real life. So, so far I have been using minimal pressure so that I'm not destroying the tooth of that paper. And now I want to just start um, using kind of the side of the Conti, pushing just a little bit, controlling that line, just so that I can get it to be lighter, a little bit more white. That's how it's going to start to look shiny. I'm not the best camera person, camera woman maybe, so I apologize for the quality of these videos. These are like the first ones that I've ever done. Um, I'm going to try to figure out a better setup in future videos, so if you are becoming a fan or if you're watching them for my class, bear with me. Hopefully I can improve my videography. All right, so I hope you see the difference between the previous one and this one. That white is just really allowing that pepper to pop. Um, again, Conti blends Conti. Make sure that you're working one material into the other rather than uh, blending it with your finger. And as you can see, you can still continue to see the gray of that paper underneath. And it's starting to look like it's coming off that page. I hope that that gives you enough of information to finish your projects over spring break. And for other YouTube um, watchers, good luck. Uh, if you have any questions, send me an email. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy working with Conti. Thanks. Bye.